Hello everyone and welcome back to the Declarative Academy. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of Salesforce Trailblazers. In this session, we'll be exploring the Trailhead module, Work Your Opportunities. By the end of this module, you'll be able to describe how to use opportunities, create a new opportunity, and add contact roles to an opportunity. This knowledge is key to tracking deals and collaborating effectively in Salesforce. Opportunities represent potential sales, the deals you're working on. Picture them as the various paths that a sale could take from early discussions to a closed deal. In Salesforce, opportunities help you track progress, understand your customer, and focus your team's efforts. Now, let's talk about opportunity stages. These stages mirror the journey of a deal, starting from prospecting, moving through qualification, proposal, negotiation, and finally, closing either won or lost. Each stage gives you a clearer idea of where you are in the sales process and what steps need to come next. For example, when you're in the prospecting stage, you're just getting to know the customer. But as you move into negotiation, show and review, you're fine tuning the details before sealing the deal. Managing several opportunities can feel like juggling, but Salesforce simplifies this with pipeline inspection. This tool gives you a consolidated view of all your deals, key metrics and insights. It's like having a bird's eye view of your garden so you know which plants need more attention. The inspection page highlights metrics, forecasts, and AI-driven insights to help you focus on high-value activities and close deals faster. Let's put theory into practice with a scenario. Imagine you're following up after a trade show with Lars Johnson from Get Cloudy West. He's interested in buying 35 custom sneakers and talks about his budget. Since he's in the early prospecting stage, you'll need to create an opportunity to track this potential deal. Here's how you'll create a new opportunity in Salesforce. Navigate to the Opportunities tab and click New. If prompted for a record type, select the one that best fits this scenario. Enter the opportunity name, Get Cloudy West, 35 custom sneakers. Select the related account, Get Cloudy West. Choose a future date for the closed date. Set the stage to something like Needs Analysis to reflect that you're assessing requirements. Click Save. This new opportunity now tracks your deal with Lars and helps you plan your next steps. Opportunities often involve multiple people, and that's where contact roles come in. These roles show who is involved in the deal and what their part is. For example, someone might be the decision maker or an influencer, just like a team working together on a project. Continuing our scenario, after sending a proposal to Lars, he loops in Aparna for her insight. Aparna becomes an influencer on this opportunity. To add her role on the opportunity record, scroll down to the contact roles related list. Click add contact roles. From the list, select Aparna, who should be associated with the Get Cloudy account. Click next. In the add contact roles window, assign her the role of influencer. Click save. Now, you've accurately tracked everyone involved in the deal. We've gone through a lot of theory and scenarios. Now, it's time for you to roll up your sleeves. The hands-on challenge asks you to create an opportunity and add a contact role. Start by navigating to the Opportunities tab and clicking New. Enter the opportunity name as Get Cloudy South, 24 holiday sneakers. Next, select the account as Get Cloudy South and choose a suitable close date sometime in the future. Update it to value proposition. Once you've filled in these details, click save to create the opportunity. Great job, you've now set up a brand new opportunity. To complete the process, scroll down to the contact role section on the opportunity page and click add contact roles. From the list of contacts, select Chantal Smith and in the role dropdown, choose decision maker. Click Next, review your selections, and then hit Save. Now, you've added a key contact role to your opportunity, ensuring you're clear on who the decision maker is in this deal. 
and that's it. Step by step, you've successfully created an opportunity, updated its stage, and added a contact role. Well done. In this module, we've explored how to work with opportunities. From understanding their stages and managing them with pipeline inspection, to creating opportunities and adding contact roles. These steps are crucial for tracking deals and ensuring no detail falls through the cracks. Remember, opportunities are not just records, they're your roadmap to closing deals successfully. I hope this walkthrough has made working with opportunities clear and approachable. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Declarative Academy, and share your thoughts or questions. Your engagement means a lot and helps shape future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep tracking those opportunities. Happy learning. Cheers.